Hello there and welcome back to Gemma Movie Recap. Today I'm going to recap The Forever Purge, a 2021 American dystopian action horror movie. Adela and her husband, Juan, live in Texas, where he works as a ranch hand for the wealthy Tucker family. Juan impresses the Tucker patriarch, Caleb, but that fuels the jealous anger of his son, Dylan. On the morning after the purge, a masked gang of killers attacks the Tuckers, forcing both families to band together and fight back as the country spirals into chaos. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The movie begins in Mexico, where a couple named Adela and Juan are escorted by a young boy on their journey to cross the border into the United States. They successfully navigate a tunnel and reach the other side. Before parting ways, the boy hands Adela a card and advises her to follow the roses if she ever needs assistance. Although the reversal of the purge had occurred earlier, the rise in illegal immigration leads to the restoration of power for the new founding fathers of America. As a result, the purge is officially reinstated. After 10 months, Adela has been actively improving her English skills while working as a manager alongside Darius. Juan, on the other hand, has obtained a job as a ranch hand for the Tucker family. One day, he is summoned to calm down a wild horse, impressing the patriarch, Caleb. Later, the Tuckers gather for a dinner that includes Caleb's son, Dylan, his pregnant wife, Cassie, and Dylan's sister, Harper. When Cassie suggests hiring additional help for when the baby arrives, Dylan declines, expressing his unwillingness to have his children grow up speaking Spanish due to the woman Cassie wants to hire being Mexican. The long-awaited day of the purge arrives. Caleb provides Juan with extra money for protection, during which Juan shares his suspicion that Dylan harbors prejudice against him because of his Mexican heritage, although Caleb denies it. Adela and Juan seek their own safe haven for the night while the Tuckers remain barricaded together. The purge unfolds in its usual fashion, with violence and chaos engulfing the streets. During the morning, Juan accompanies his friend TT to work and together they observe that the gate to the Tucker residence has been opened. While working alongside Darius, Adela notices a goat confined in a cage. When she attempts to set it free, she unknowingly triggers a trap that locks her inside. Suddenly, two individuals wearing rabbit masks, known as the Purgers, emerge with the intention of continuing their unlawful activities beyond the designated time frame. Fortunately, Darius arrives just in time to rescue Adela and release her from captivity. They swiftly eliminate the Purgers, but their efforts are hindered when a law enforcement officer mistakenly arrests them, believing them to be the ones responsible for ongoing purging. Meanwhile, the Tuckers face an assault from another group of Purgers led by Kirk, a fellow ranch hand. Kirk holds the belief that the Tuckers, as wealthy individuals, hoard resources and exploit others. He declares their actions as the forever purge. Caleb confronts Kirk, pointing out the hypocrisy of participating in an event orchestrated by the very people he criticizes. However, as Caleb confronts Kirk, he tragically gets fatally shot in the head. Juan and TT arrive at the scene, eliminating Kirk and the Purgers before rescuing Dylan, Harper, and Cassie, and making their escape. The streets are consumed by chaos as the Ever After Purgers, a group of individuals engaged in relentless violence, wreak havoc, and destruction. Adela and Darius, traveling in a van, experience a collision that claims the life of a female prisoner. In the midst of the turmoil, a white supremacist attempts to attack Adela, but Darius intervenes and eliminates him. Juan and the others eventually discover Adela and Darius, but Darius chooses to stay behind and confront the Purgers while Adela joins the group to make their escape. Amidst the ongoing mayhem, news reports indicate that due to the escalating situation in the country, Mexico and Canada have opened their borders for the next six hours, welcoming American refugees seeking to escape the violence. Additionally, the NFFA has deployed the military to combat the chaos throughout the rest of the nation. The group embarks on a journey towards Mexico, passing through El Paso, employing a strategy of displaying an ever-after flag to divert suspicion from the Purgers. While driving, Juan and Dylan engage in a conversation, during which Dylan expresses his belief that people should stick to their own races and maintain distance from one another. In response, Juan emphasizes that despite their differences, they are all united in this shared experience. 
As the group continues their journey on foot, they find themselves unexpectedly ambushed by the Ever After Purgers, led by Elijah Harden and his wife known as Mother. Harden and Mother propose a grim ultimatum to the Tuckers, offering them a chance to survive if they carry out the execution of Adela, Juan, and T.T. In a defiant response, Harper refuses their demand, telling them to go to hell. In a tragic turn of events, Mother shoots T.T., resulting in his death. However, the remaining heroes muster their strength and engage in a fierce battle against the villains. One manages to shoot Mother in the face before they successfully escape. Pressing on, the group makes further progress until they come across a news report detailing the Ever After Purger's destructive act of blowing up a military compound. Consequently, Mexico swiftly closes off its borders. Adela and Juan recall the message to follow the roses, and they begin searching for signs adorned with paintings of roses, hoping it will guide them into Mexico. During their journey, Adela and Cassie become separated from the rest of the group. Encountering armed individuals, Adela employs her communication skills to persuade them that they seek sanctuary. Eventually, Dylan, Juan, and Harper reunite with Adela and Cassie within a compound that shelters other survivors. The group successfully reaches a place of safety, but their respite is short-lived as the Ever After Purgers, led by Elijah, close in with the intention of killing the migrants. Cassie begins experiencing labor pains and is quickly escorted to a medical tent accompanied by Harper. Meanwhile, Dylan chooses to remain behind and fight alongside Adela and Juan. The Purgers storm in, triggering a brutal and intense gunfire exchange with the migrants. Juan skillfully employs explosive arrows, inflicting significant casualties on the Purgers until only a few remain. However, Elijah seizes Adela as a hostage. With Dylan's assistance, Juan manages to disarm Elijah and fatally ends his life. The remaining Purgers are left lifeless. Dylan rushes to the medical tent to join Cassie, who has successfully given birth to a baby girl. Adela and Juan soon join them, and Dylan expresses his gratitude to both of them in Spanish. News reports reveal that the country and the NFFA have ultimately succumbed to the Purgers. However, amidst the grim situation, there is a glimmer of hope as Americans rise up to defend themselves and reclaim their nation from the true enemy. The End What do you think of the movie? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and support the channel by subscribing and click the bell icon so that you won't miss our future recaps. And if you have any movie you want us to recap, please do tell us in the comments section as well. And until next time.